later on he was traveling so he directed me to dr steven moore dr steven moore, dr. Steven moore. that man i've been hearing from me and i've been seeing his post on x i mean on social media and i think not that i think the man is actually good oh yeah he's very, very, very good he's very very good i i'll be coming there but he actually ignited my spirit the more to love my commanders and i would have regretted it if this professor Isel has changed the program for me <laughs> Meet Emmanuel Azoko, a remarkable individual from the humble village of Sabrungo in the west region of Bogatanga. Sabrungo is a typical village lacking many busy social amenities that others might take for granted. Despite these challenges, Emmanuel's story is a shining example of perseverance and determination. Emmanuel's educational journey began with a modest start. He scored an aggregate of 31 in his BECE. For many, this might have been a discouraging result. But Emmanuel refused to let it define his future. He moved on to senior high school where he poured his heart and soul into his studies. His hard work paid off spectacularly when he graduated with an aggregate of 12, earning him the honor of being the valedictorian of his class in 2017. Month, a subject that often instilled fears in many students, became Emmanuel's passion. He pursued his love for mathematics at the University of Cape Coast where he didn't, he didn't just aim to pass but excel. His relentless dedication led him to graduate with first class honors, achieving a stellar CGP of 3.9 on a scale of 4.0. Emmanuel's journey is a testament to what can be achieved with unwavering determination and hard work, no matter where you come from. He recently shared his inspiring story on Village Boy on the Village Boy YouTube channel, offering insights and motivation to others facing similar challenges. In his interview, Emmanuel spoke about overcoming obstacles, the importance of perseverance, and the power of believing in oneself. His story serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration, showing that with dedication and hard work, anyone can achieve their dreams, regardless of their circumstances. Hello, lovely people. Village Boy here. Thank you so much for making time to my YouTube channel. I know how we do it. So as you can see, today we are here to have a very heated, very serious conversation around mathematics and statistics. And of course, as you can see, this gentleman is here to tell us, unravel everything to us so that we get to know the details. You know, you fear mathematics, you fear statistics. But a gentleman here had first class from UCC. Yeah, no, it's not easy. It's not a joke. <laughs> you think statistics or mathematics is cheap? If it is cheap, drop it in the comment section. All right, so gentlemen, you're welcome. Oh. I appreciate I appreciate that you are here today. Oh yeah. Okay, so first of all, we want you to introduce yourself. Tell us who you are, then we'll progress from there. Okay. Um my name is Emmanuel Azoko. Yeah, I'm from uh, Bogatanga, that is the upper east. Okay. Sure. Um I completed um in the year 2017 from Boku Senior High Technical School and I read technical science. You read technical science? Yes. And you came here to do oh, <laughs> statistics? Yes, yes. yes, yes. Yeah. So there's, a, this, uh, there's this strong connection Damn. between, between uh, technical and okay. that of uh, physics and then mathematics. Oh. Which uh, many people would think. Um, you went, like, I mean, my, my, my this thing is like you went to school to fix or to connect wires, yes, cables, that is, cars, that is, that wedding. is, that is uh, one of the misconceptions we have out there. Okay. That if you read uh, technical, then you definitely have to go into the uh, block lane. Yeah. Or let, yeah, you have to go to those, those, but, I it's mean, not, but it's not like that. So really? if you are interested in block lane, that's why we have uh, technical institutes there. Okay. You go there. But okay. technical uh, sectors. We blend that of technical and science together. Science together, my yes, That's why the name is uh, technical science. Technical science. My friend, like it's today that I'm getting the whole concept very well because. Oh yeah, that is it. That is my my thought is like Charlie, you go lay some blog. Uh -huh. No, no, no. no. You know, coming here to do yeah, we, have, we have we have technology and we have that of uh, the science aspect of it, right? So it's like um. We have the know why and the know how. So okay. when you go to the technical institutes, they will teach you the know how. So they are just teaching them how to do this, how to do this. Okay. But if you go to the senior high, they are teaching you why it is like this. Why it senior is high. And the sectex we are now blending the two. Amazing, together. amazing. Yeah. Finish with your introduction. I think this is going to be interesting conversation. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I completed in the year 2017. I okay. technical science. I, I happen to be the valedictorian for my congrammy. 
during my year batch. Yeah, class of okay, yes, class okay. of 2017. Yes, and, my goodness, uh, I finished <laughs> that uh, due to one or two stars, which I may be discovering them uh, or disclosing them here. Okay, I made it up uh, here in 2019. 2019 to read BSc mathematics so math it's not even statistics but mathematics yes uh, the almighty mathematics, mathematics that everybody they fear yeah. <laughs> so you, yes. you you came here to conquer it yes yes, yes. my goodness so where you were born or is it village how is this life there like yeah you know i'll be following your channel on this you've been mm. an advocate for that particular topic uh, which I think we have to devote another day to develop that from okay. my side too. Okay. So okay. I am not different from you. We are all from a similar, you know, so background. village boy to here. Like yes, yes, another yes, village bro, boy. Bro, bro, bro. It's not easy. I know uh, <laughs> those watching you, uh, some of them uh, might have heard the name Sumbrongo before. Sumbrongo. So you see, I'm yeah, yeah, as well. yes, that is it. Sumbrongo. Yeah. So Sumbrongo. from village to UCC. Yes. 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 And then, even when you get to the Sumbrongo, we still have a, a sub-village there called Agusi. Yeah, and, and then that Agusi. is where I had my basic school, I mean, ed education. So my Agusi, goodness. Agusi Primary School, that's where I attended uh, from. So it's not like you had you, oh, you, nah. you had extraordinary foundation? No, in... no, 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 it wasn't like My goodness, this conversation is going to be deep. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. What? You came to UCC, and yes. not just like coming to UCC per se, but you let the school pass through you. Yes you read mathematics yeah a lot of people are afraid of mathematics even those in the cities who had all the resources they are oh afraid of yeah yeah i have a friend i think uh in my class which i wouldn't be mentioning him though a person mm. he from uh, adisadel and we all know adisadel, yeah, adisadel ranking the yeah, highest in ghana eight schools in ghana yeah, like that adisadel. but okay. you know uh we all have our ups and downs. Mm. I realized that, yeah, that period was this period of downness. But you see, we could have the relation there that it doesn't matter the senior how you attend. Exactly. Are you getting it? It exactly. doesn't matter the senior how you attend. So Exa from Boko Senior High Technical School, Boko is also, yes, Boko has, you know, its own name. Okay. And if you hear Boko, I, I, I know your Boko, best, Boko, yes, five. The gunshot, you know. <laughs> like yeah, if not because of the gunshot, I, 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 I guess uh, how Boko goes to, you know, surface mm. when it comes to, you know, mentioning the uh, names of towns. Oh. Uh, so Boko is typically is not even all that greater or lesser than the village as well. Okay. Because okay. we don't have what you, you you've been talking about some of the social amenities, amenities you don't you don't that. have it there you don't have it there but we made it to uh boko sectic where dormitories and other stars mm. in fact even the science lab we're not having the whole senior high ah. and we were not having you were not having physics, science, science lab. lab no physics lab no so we so had what? to uh on occasion ah. get a bus move from our school all the way to other school just for the practical so for practicals yes Eh? So, so what the, actually if you were not having all this thing what inspired you to come and do because I, for here too i'm sure that you go for practical like oh, fixes yes, and yes, those yes, kind yes, of stuff yes, what yes, actually practical. inspired you to come to ucc and not to talk of any program but mathematics yeah mathematics so as uh, i said already i read technical science and uh, you know when we come to technical science some may be mm. going to the uh, electricity i mean the electric house okay woodwork okay building construction these are the three areas i mean for my school some also have the photovoltaic effect, that's the solar system stuff. Okay. Those advanced ones. For instance, KTI, they mm. have those types. But for my school, you know, we are just into this three area. Three so cars. I majored in building technology and that was my field. So I was actually interested in building technology where my HOD, the technical science uh, department, the HOD, mm. uh, got impressed of how I always talk about feathering in BT, that's building technology and okay. all that. I used to, you know, assist him uh, come up with building plans, not just for academic purposes, but, but for I mean, his clients as oh, well. Okay, amazing. Yeah, so that, I that is I amazing. Mean, to that as I mean as well, drawing building plans and uh, all that. So after school, uh, you know, my school is a less endowed institution. Oh, okay. Uh, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. They have this policy that uh, if you are from such schools. Then you excel well, they give you scholarship. Okay. So my year batch, we were three. One from the business class and two from technical science. Okay. So I was measuring in uh, building technology 
and Solomon, one of my best friends and companies, uh, he's in competition <laughs> and all okay, that. Yeah. Oh no, uh, he went to um, uh, further in technical drawing. Okay. Yes, from other I mean, different mm. institutions. But we used to compete in class and all that. My Charlie. goodness, I guess I yeah. guess it's uh -huh, going to be heated is. one. Sure, sure, sure. So um, the two of us had a scholarship and uh, the business guy went to KUST. Okay. But the other guy, we all had, uh, he went to woodwork section mm -hmm. and I had building technology and then construction economics okay that was the scholarship they gave me i initially was very very happy and all that so upon giving it a second thought i realized that yes i loved my building technology but mm -hmm. if i should go there i'm limiting myself to only this particular area okay yes only this particular area if you do after my first degree in the building technology i can go to the architectural designs and then further up in other area okay but i realized that for my three years C boku senior technical school everything we were doing were just on the basis of mathematics oh yes everything so that was actually gave you the edge to yes. come so here. i realized that so you see sako there's something like we cherish money rather than the money making machine we cherish so, money rather than money making machine this yes, is deep yes mm. so it's like why would i go for the outcome of something else if that, not going for that something else? So, you bab. So uh, I was like, gonna save you here. Oh yeah. So I was like, <laughs> wow. So why don't I go for the mathematics on which we are actually developing all these technologies than just going for the outcome? Because I will be limiting myself to this. So I thought it, uh, I thought it wise, mm. you know, uh, approach my HOD with this particular concept. And he was like, it's very nice, but you know, he is into it. So okay. he definitely tried to give me all sorts of reasons uh, okay, why, you, to go why you should go in for Yes, and likely on my part, my senior high uh, elective mathematics teacher, Master Dauda Rashid. Uh, yes, Master Bless Rashid, up. I salute you everywhere <laughs> you are. He came in and, you know, highlighted the benefit of mathematics. In fact, and I'm realizing it today, you know, mathematics serves as a stepping stone to any a other field. A stepping stone. We're yes. going into details, uh, you know, on what you're talking about. Yes. But first of all, do you think mathematics is cheap, it's easy, it's, is it for everyone? Or oh. people are born into mathematics? Or are, like, <laughs> what's your take on <laughs> you know, that? You know, you know, you know, no one is born into uh, mathematics. And mm. let me not just say mathematics. In anything that we are facing today, no one was born into it. So okay. richness or poorness, we are all born to this particular, you know, uh, mm -hmm. world we are living in. So it level on to you to see how you adhere yourself, okay. you know, with whatever is surrounding around you. And then back to your question, mathematics uh, is a misconception that it's difficult. It's not difficult, but then it's complicated. Uh, one plus one, two, two plus two, yeah. four. So you see, this, one, find X, this that just, is this where are, the problem is. So the you thing. see, if you are asked to find X, yeah. <laughs> and you know i don't understand you see we need i don't know where this problem is from the busy school teachers or just from us okay because it depends on how you teach the mathematics that will let the student like it or so not. your former teacher elective mathematics oh master rashid Mr. this Mr. very rashid. well master rashid no, 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 he he has a very oh my goodness even before i came for this particular interview i spoke with him you spoke uh, yes every day <laughs> every day every day we talk uh, yeah. he, he gives me the guidelines even in ucc he was still with me giving me how to go by this, the concepts and all my that. My goodness. Yes. The man so, was super excited. Yeah, so it. Rashid, we were not, as I said I mean, earlier, we were not having the lab mm. sessions for all this, this. But we have a topic in emails called mechanics. Okay. And it's like yeah. phases. So this man will put his phone on the table, mm. apply a force in this direction, and ask, okay, you might also apply the force here. And let's see where would the phone move. So even though our both forces are what in this kind of, direction. What, what force are you applying? Yeah, yeah, just normal force. You use your hand and apply your force hand. to the phone. So it's like practical yes. something. Practical session. Right. Even though the direction of the uh, force will be in this direction and the phone may be going in different direction. Okay. So this explains the science behind all these things. So you see, in an example, if you should draw a figure and ask me to do this and that. I'll just reflect back to what Rashid was teaching me. Then this one, there's no way like, you are going boom. to forget anything you that you've been forget, taught in you class. Forget. So this is how you should be teaching the mathematics for students to like it. So hey. mathematics is not difficult and it is not also cheap. But then... It is it not is difficult, cheap. but it is also not cheap. <laughs> Yes. That, that part is not, I think the that very part it is not cheap, is what people have got like, are, are taking it. Yes, yes but the yes, cheap yes. aspect here, Charlie. Because uh it's complicated though, you know, it's like 
trying to tell me, you know, we all know how summary is. Yeah. Summary. Yeah. So you are giving the three page distant passage and you're actually summarizing just five lines. How mm. will you feel? It's kind of crazy. You know, the English majors will tell you how it is, blah, blah, blah. But they will say it's not difficult. Yeah. Because it's their fault. But me, I will say, yeah, this thing, it's how, this, how do you expect tough. me to do this and that and that? Bam, and that is it. Okay. So mathematics too is like that. We are also trying to summarize everything mm. by in what? A quantity sense. The, the numbers we see, five, two, three, they are symbols when you come to mathematics. So, so, so if you see five and mm. you just think about something, five, no, they are just symbols. They are just symbols. symbols. So they are not. So should I say they are not numbers? They are not numbers. So we have numbers and numerals. If you remember back at uh, the JHS level, okay, realize that the first topic you will be dealing with numbers and numerals. Me, I forgot to know. Yes, numbers and numerals. <laughs> so we have a clear difference between numbers and numerals. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the numbers here are just symbols. So in abstract algebra, when you go deep in abstract algebra, mm -hmm. you can be seeing five. But then five may be denoting different thing, not the number five you think of. My goodness. Yes. So you, you come into the university to read mathematics. The assessment is 40, right? Yes. Have you ever had zero before? <laughs> zero, no. <laughs> you never? <laughs> <laughs> zero assessment, no. No zero assessment? Uh, no. no. What's, what was your biggest fear? Even though you love mathematics, you understand the concept. Okay. What was your biggest fear in mathematics? So my biggest fear was in, I mean, in mathematics was that if I should relax, and this thing should, you know, not go my way. Mm -hmm. How am I going to take all over again? That was just the biggest fear. Okay. And, you know, in the first year, we'll be meeting colleagues. So when we came like this, Fafa, who happened to be the Mathematics Students Association president in UCC mm -hmm. here, created a group for us. The very first day we joined, these people were just tormenting us. Those from the Adisadeo uh, and Pempe College. What were they saying? What were they so it's like talking about? We were coming to do um intro to statistics. Uh, no, into the probability rather. Mm. And we have Bayes theorem. Actually, that was my first time of hearing that term, Bayes theorem. Bayes theory. Uh, take, 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 let me check if it is what. Bayes theorem and then all that. So um, they were now explaining what Bayes theorem in the group. And mm. like our first topic is Bayes theorem. Our second one is this. Our second one we have not really heard that term before. <laughs> and Bayes theorem is about yeah, you know, conglomerating that of a. Uh, Conditional probability with this and that, even though we knew of conditional probability, but what about the Bayes theorem? Okay. So you see, they were tormenting us up and down. So I began to you know regret this choice. Mm. Like, hmm, can I actually you know do this? Because the way these people are, it's like I'm fully prepared. And you're not prepared and for the it's show. It's like they're, they're talking, and then what is? Yeah. Kind so of they were like, oh, Charlie, 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 big power. So actually, I I confronted my HOD then. Uh, who was at uh, Professor Iso? Okay, I wanted to change the program. <laughs> I wanted to change the program. To Someone finish. who has so uh, you know pleasure of vowing yeah, to come I here. I wanted to, to change the team to physics. That was my second choice too. I chose mathematics first. But physics is, is from flying pan to fly. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> but it's not from flying pan, you know. Uh, <laughs> but what fire, what I've uh, seen and what people have been saying about this, uh, you know, particular uh, programs. That's why I'm saying from flying want to fire oh okay yeah, yeah. that is it because mathematics i mean i mean physics is just mathematics in action mm. i just wanted to change the area maybe the environment within which i will find myself will help me okay, okay. yeah as i wanted to do so so okay. he, he he clearly said what you said so, so if you are running from mathematics and into physics you are actually in the same field because yeah. you're doing the mathematics too. exactly yeah and just that here we are going to apply them in real life okay so there is no difference from this to this. You better tell me what to go to the social sciences. At first, he, <laughs> he spoke as he was angry. Okay. But, you know, they are well, you know, invested in using psychology and that. Mm. So he was doing all they just to catch my attention for the thing. Okay. But in the beginning, he was just talking as he was angry, go to the social sciences or quit and apply next year and come forward, whatever, whatever. So I was quiet and he asked me, so he might now tell me, why do you want to change this? So I explained my situation and all that. Okay. It. So, yeah. Let me let me let me let me challenge you with this. It, it will come to a surprise that at the end of this particular semester, these same people will not make it as you will be making it true. My goodness. This is just uh, pressure everywhere. Even we lecturers like this, if you are if you go to a new institution, let's mm. say the US, something to go and do presentation and all that, these white people will be tormenting us. But it end out that we the blacks are going to perform mm -hmm. more. Perform very them. well. So you stand up. Uh, with the vim that you had to apply to this particular program 
just go by that. And yeah, you performed well in this and that and that. And he asked me one or two stuff why I chose the mask. I mm. explained and said, Oh yeah, you had a like you have a reason. Some people are here just because they want to be in university. Okay. But you have a reason. Mm. And so just go by that and you'll be fine. So yeah, he was my mentor. And later on he was traveling, so he directed me to Dr. Stephen Moore. Dr. Yeah. Stephen Moore. Dr. Stephen Moore. That man I've been hearing from me and I've been seeing his post on X, I mean on social media, and I think not I think the man is actually good. Oh yeah, he's very, very, very good. He's very, very good. I I'll be coming there, but he actually ignited my spirit the more to love mathematics. And I would have regretted it if this professor Asa has changed the program for me. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Thank God he didn't change. He didn't change he it. Rather he rather encouraged directed you to Stephen Moore. No, to take over mm. whilst you'll be away. And Stephen Moore take you through this. And that and that and Stevie Moore is a true definition of applying mathematics. My goodness, yes, is a true definition of really for everything he's doing. I show is that he doesn't just master the theoretical concept of whatever we are teaching here. Okay, but he's applying them in real life. Wow. Yes. Wow. So now let's continue with the conversation here. You know, um, <laughs> <laughs> your first quiz. I just want to have some, okay. uh, you know, idea about how it went. Your first quiz. Okay. Can you tell us the score you had in mathematics? Because some people... The first, mm -hmm. the first mathematics uh, course I took was uh, analytic geometry and uh, no, uh, algebra and then trigonometry. That's math 101. Okay. Yes, math 101. And because of how people were, you know, tormenting us here and there, and with the motivation from Professor Acel, mm. I actually prepared well. Okay. In fact, I prepared for the quiz. So when it came out of uh, 20, I think I had 18.5. Yeah, out eh? of 20, I had 18.5. 18 <laughs> so it, 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 it even fooled me to, to do, do more. more. But then there's this <laughs> lecturer <laughs> called Dr. Ari Mia oh, Yeah, okay. he also showed me that the program is not for the week. Yes, so I happened to get 7 over 20 in his. Uh, the second quiz happened to okay be. that is also in mathematics yes but okay. in statistics as you know we have different between statistics and mathematics but for the first second year we'll be doing some together okay so as you climb up to the peak mm. you'll be going into your majors okay yeah so the introduction to um statistics like this this man gave out a question which i know uh my colleagues can actually testify that uh, mm. Five stem penny. Okay. That's what we used to you know, refer to uh, Dr. Arimia, oh. five stem penny. If you ask the question, uh, stem penny, we all know it's just the, one of the easiest concepts in statistics back at the SHS. <laughs> but this man made it to us, I mean, like proved it to us that we never understood the thing. Okay. He asked us, uh, do this, that, in five stem penny, and we're confused. So you see, it's a way to tell you that you don't understand English or you don't pay attention to details. Okay. You don't come near mathematics. So you attention. have to pay attention to details, detail, read details, instructions. Details. So we were just, you know, first years, we were just, boom, our normal stem and liver preach. And it came, in fact, I think the highest was around nine or so. So I happened to get five out of wow. 20. Wow. And Rashid, my email teacher at the SHS, uh, got, you know, angry at the beginning. That, what is this? Five stem per leave two, you can do that. So I sent the question and he was like, oh, wow, the question was actually tricky. And so he explained it to me, and afterwards I realized that I made a very big mistake. Ooh. But that actually did not, you know, uh, you know, restrict me from, uh, from, from going, going in harder. From, yeah, I see. And in the university, too, they do dean's awards. Have you taken any of the awards before? Like, oh yes, from uh, you know, I've taken, I've taken the awards throughout uh, all the years. Yeah. Throughout, yes. So throughout. from level hundred to four hundred. I was part of them, and the <laughs> prominent one was in level 300, I mean 400. I happened to be uh, awarded with a student with the highest uh, CGPA in my program, that is BS Mathematics. Mm. Yes. Amazing. So, yeah, it's, it, it, it happens. My goodness. So, taking all these awards, how was the feeling like, you know, are oh, you yeah, impressed was, about your, was, your, your Oh, yeah, your yeah I, was very, very, I was very, very impressed. You know, I realized that the effort and everything that I kept inside did not just go waste. Mm. Yeah, but then coming out with this, and my mom is not educated over. But then anytime I take a picture with this professor, the dean, and send to my mom, my mom be like, "Oh, that's my son," and all that. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what, what, what's, the, what's the name of your mom? We need to appreciate her. What's oh, the name of your Juliana 
Hakan PC. Madam uh, Juliana. Hakan PC. Wow. Uh, very, On the 12th of um, May, Mother's Day, so we need to appreciate her so oh, much. Yes, 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 yes. I'm actually, you know, there is this big package in store for her. Okay. Which is yet to be discovered. Uh, you know what I'm talking Def about. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. God bless her so much because she, she has really done her, her part oh yeah you know no, someone who is not mom, who has not had mom. former single mom yes your mom straight from the shs all wow. the way to complete ucc and you also so, paid attention yes. to, to her to her advices and, then, and all the she calls me every night before i sleep my yeah, goodness every night these are the I things sleep. we like these are the things i love to hear and love to see wow god yeah. bless you let's continue with the conversation now, graduating from UCC with first class, okay, I know very well that it is not a joke. Oh yeah, this is not a man play. Sure, <laughs> Charlie, we've been through, we've been through a lot. How was the feeling like? You know, you know, actually, uh, the last part, uh, the last semester mm. uh, was, you know, the semester to complete. Even though I knew the class I'd be graduating with, but I was still, you know, going in with this fear that I shouldn't even depreciate from where I'm standing. Mm. You know, 3.6 is first class, 0.7 is first class, yeah. whatever. But I wouldn't want to reverse my personal development. Okay. So I kept in much effort. And that particular, I can say that particular semester was uh, one of the toughest semester for me, even though... Which of the semesters? Uh, the last semester. Let me so uh, semester yes. in level 400. Project work, you go, and I had a white to mind. I know how they are. Yeah. They are not like our people. Uh, where they like must I take it away rubbish she doesn't you know she's not into that she will sit you down and do this da, 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 da. by then anything that I presented this woman will have something to talk about to talk about it so I constantly you know when there is up and down but one fortunate thing is I finished my project I was the first person to finish in the department that is because I started in the first semester you started your project work in the first semester yeah in the first semester hey. so you know, going through all this, I was actually ending with fear, but it turned out to be, you know, uh, for me. Yeah. Wow. So I did, I did, I did my best. So the last paper that I wrote, I realized that I'm now done with UCC, and uh, I, I usually, you know, uh, calculate my CGP even before the results. Will so come. you assume the results you're going to oh, get at the yeah, end of the you know, mathematics is said that after the exams you can just score yourself. You, you know what to <laughs> but do. But how, how are you going to manage to know that this is the like the answers you provided to the question yeah. are the right answers you know you try to score your own self in, in, you know this is not like history where you be like know. memorizing <laughs> the, 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 the. no so if you are doing the right thing you know you know you know that i'm doing the really? right thing yes if you are doing the right hey. thing you know i'm doing the right thing and the answer the answer you will get you can actually test in all mass questions you'll be able to test that the answer is correct or not for instance let's say you are asked 2 plus x is equal to 5. Hmm. Find x. And you tell me x is 10. Now the answer, to be able to know whether you are right or not, just kindly fix the 10 back and see 2 plus 10. Is it equal to 5? Hmm. It is not. So this should tell you you are wrong. But let's assume I had 3 and I put it there. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Boom. I'm good to go. So I wow. know that I'm right. Yeah. Wow. So can you, can you disclose your CGPA you had or you graduated with? Oh, I... 3.9 yes 3.9 on a scale of 4.0 3 dot 9 yes when we subtract 1.3.9 11 like 0, 0.0 what 3.9 yes hey chama <laughs> I just don't know what to say. You are shocked. You, you that you are watching us, you are also shocked. <laughs> I am shocked. <laughs> Three point nine. Oh yes. Charlie, congratulations. Oh, thanks, you mama. try. You hey, mathematics is. How many ladies are in your class? Oh, oh, you know, were in your class. Um, they were about um, I think five or six. Sure. And how about the guys? Oh, we were we were the dominating, you know, sex in the class. Mm -hmm. Definitely, we will be. But our year, we happen to be. The group uh, with you no know, max numbers, so we were thirty-one and one deferred, so we were now level thirty. Okay. Yeah, we were now level thirty. My goodness! So, uh, the ladies with the ladies, no, uh, yeah. have any any of them had? Uh, what oh yes, it? yes, yes. We have we had we had this group of ladies uh, that also graduated in you know with first class, 
uh, I wouldn't want to disclose their names, okay. but I know they'll be watching me and, uh, you know, congrats to them, you know. Like exactly, they did, you know, so um, because it's a mathematics, yeah, it's, first it's, class. It's, it's, it's not easy, yeah. So, our, easy our, our, our class, we had three ladies, you know, out of the six, okay, three came out first class, wow, and the other three they also did well, second class upper, and then, yeah, second class upper, they were that's, that's, then just one lower, you know, they were that is our, amazing. Our, 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 our ladies, so we needed not to know put them aside anytime. So you are to going learn, along, like you, just you know, them up. learning together just, with yeah, them. Yeah, we picked them up. You know, we had I love that. Approximately thirty. I said we were thirty-one. The one went off. Mm. So we were level thirty, and we divided ourselves into five groups. Okay. So in the five, 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 in each group, one lady will join. Okay. And the lady happens who, who must be the facilitator. So you see, Definitely. the position we impose on you will force you to learn. To learn 24 7. Oh, yes. That is, um, I, I love the, this kind of strategy. I think if most of the uh, programs or some of the classes they will have this kind of groups, it's going to help them. So that, oh, yeah. And at yeah. the end of the day, they are going to, I mean, have equal, you know, performance. Oh, yes. And yes because yes. in the university, too, I'm sure that this is not competition. It's right? never. A competition. If you had your first class, it's your first class. Good. And whatever you have is your, Boom. Is your thing. Well, right now, what I'm having here. My friends are also having same mm. outside there. And it's not like we are competing. We will not be comparing the decimals. Mm. Someone with third class will also come and be envy mine. And I would also be envy the one with 4.0. Yeah, exactly. But we are all going out. We've heard of people in first class and sitting home. Mm. And someone third class happily, you know, outside there yeah. enjoying. So this is just about, you know, building together here and there. I think this one will also encourage people to learn well or learn harder. But then when we talk about, you know, uh, the uh, mathematics, which of the organizations or sectors you can use mathematics to work? Is it, you know, all sectors? Okay. Because media, <laughs> well... <laughs> okay, so almost all the sectors, mm. you know, we need mathematicians. Okay. Yeah, in fact, all the sectors, let me just say all the sectors. Okay. Just that some may need limited number of mathematicians mm. and some institutions will also need more of the mathematician okay. for instance when you go to the bank we just think uh, the accounting students are doing going to the bank they are sitting behind the machine mm. balancing the sheet and all that but do you know the science behind what they are doing in fact every bank must have a mathematician every bank must have a yeah. mathematician neglect the bank i mean i mean the branches say fidelity bank ucc branch you will not see the mathematician here okay but when you go to accra tesano their headquarters there they must see have the a mathematician the mathematician there. And, what I, and then what am i saying this you know we have a topic called sequence and series in mathematics mm. and this talks about projecting how you know consist i uh, you know a pattern will look in the future okay so let's say you are in the bank and then you are giving out the policy if you save this and this and this you get a profit of this and that so we will say so then the person will be like okay so let's assume uh, this bank gn also came mm. and the profit was so huge but did it last no the policy are you getting it mm. so we have divergence sequence and convergence sequence so the mathematician there will now come to you the manager giving out this policy that okay so if a uh, customer a should deposit this every month so month one this amount month two this amount mm. month three this, this this so let's say the person decide to say for 10 years how will be the cumulative interest for the student i mean th that particular mm. customer so this is sequence then you will see if it diverges then that will be a bad policy because you can't pay mm. you don't have one customer and each customer interest is diverging so if each of them Diverges. Can you pay? And if you say diverge, that means infinity. Mm, okay. So you have to pay them with a huge amount of money. And this bank, we just have, you know, um, a constant amount of money somewhere to be dealing with. Oh. So, but <coughs> if it happens that the policy we generate a sequence and it converges, mm. it means that let's say um, even in hundred years time, you still have to give the person thousand five hundred Ghana cities. Then it will be a good policy. Okay. So each customer will take thousand five hundred. And they will continue saving forever. So you, the banker, I mean, the manager, you benefit from it. Okay. But if it's divergent, so this is just one aspect of the, ma the application of mathematics in the banks. Okay. Are you getting it? Okay. Yeah. So okay. we need these people there. But if the absence of mathematicians realize that you make the policy and boom, you start with it, it will not last. The bank will go 
you know of, mm. yeah because you will not be able to pay the customers and if I see. one person uh, one two three people come and they're able to get their money so let's play now let's start yeah okay so now you, know, you tell us the you know the areas where we can apply mathematics okay you know. so um so many areas uh, we can apply mathematics but i wouldn't be able to mention them all here mm. i would just um, i just finished with that of the bank yeah and we apply the sequence and series there mm. yeah so the series aspect is what i'm saying if you add any divergence or convergence make a decision another aspect is in the facebook recommender system okay so have you ever you know noticed that you'll be a friend to uh let's say mr a and because of that, Facebook will recommend your old time friend to you. Someone if you lost contact with the mm. person, all of a sudden they will come and recommend that person to you. Do you think they are using juju or something to link Maybe you with that person? there's some spirits behind. There's no spirit. This is science. So uh, mathematics here, we have something called equivalence relation. Mm. When you come to absolute algebra, we have equivalence relation. Uh, it must all be... Um, reflexive uh, transitivity and uh, that of symmetric so there are three but i'm talking about the last one transitivity property the transitivity mm. property talks about say if a is related to b and then b is related to c then a must be related to c mm -hmm. if only is transitivity mm. uh, if it is only uh if only it is a uh, equivalence relation okay then a must be related to c and how do we apply this now look at something. Assuming you claim to be my brother, mm. let's neglect the jovial aspect of saying your oh, brother from another mother. This aspect. Let's just say you are my brother, mm. and then uh, Mr. B happens to be your brother too. Then who is, who will Mr. B be to me? A brother. Are you getting it? Yeah. This is the transitive relation uh, in the property. So in Facebook like this, if you are a friend to uh, friend A, Mr. A. Mm. Then Mr. A happens to be your mutual friend. Then Facebook will hesitate not to recommend all the mutual friends of friends be to you. Okay. So they assume you may. So you see, they would not say, say, you know, say, you may know. You they, may. So you may know this. You okay. may know. They're not saying you know the person. And they are using equivalence relation to do that. Amazing. So this is where we also applied it uh, in. Uh, Facebook recommender system, but uh, there are a lot of you know programming into that. Mm. If if you want to develop into that aspect, you know you take mathematics a step further. You understand it more. We have metric spaces that we also have the triangle inequality all delving towards that. Okay. Which okay. we wouldn't go deep. Okay. And, and another question is, um, someone may want to know the grade you had from GHS life. Oh, okay. Coming from the so, village, because you talked about the, the structure or maybe the how the environment okay. is like. Okay. So what what was what was the great aggregate? You okay. Had? So um, <laughs> my JHS, uh, my BC, uh, the uh, the grade I had, you know, for my BC wasn't all that uh, good, but that did not, you know, deter me. That was thirty one. I had thirty one. You had thirty one. Yes, thirty one. Came to uh, easy to read mathematics. Sure. So I had aggregate uh, thirty one, hmm. and further went to the Boku Senior Technical School. And that's where I realized that oh, you I can, can do yeah, can I can do I can do better. a lot yes I can do a lot because I realized that the thirty one actually I thought of it and even this level you can't do this you can't do this <laughs> and you are going to do e mass going to do physics technical drawing we term it as engineering drawing and it's kind of crazy you know mm. that even ignited my spirit to come and then uh, also add physics to uh, reading mathematics. Uh, engineering drawing is not just what we know uh, by section lines mm. and we have cross section and all that we do this we do that so i realized that ah. so when i got there there was this senior called alu mm. alu i was very young and alu was like hey charlie you can you do this and all of a sudden he opened the emails book to the integration so my very first time i've seen integration sign okay can you do this do you know what this is da, da, da. so actually i was scared and i was like wow I'm not sure I can do because even the BEC, I had 31. <laughs> With the mean and the standard deviation style, fine X square, uh, I, was able, I was not able to do. Very, How much more phases, and then, mass and all this. Uh, by things. then, I, 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 I think there was this divine mercy that 
you know, came upon me, and I, I, I just started to give it, you know, a trial, and, then it, and it went through. And I realized that no, uh, there are a lot in me that I, you know, I can bring out. Let me see what I can do. So my first, uh, you know, year in the SHS, out of the three years, I did well, and that actually, you know, pushed me up to do more from the SHS, and I came out from there to I will be twelve mm. uh, from the SHS. So I realized that you know, there's a vast uh, thirty-one to get twelve. It's it's a very like sure, a very sure, significant sure, thing, sure, you sure. know, improvement. Why you know we, we, we hear people with single six? Yes, uh, people. This, they will tell you, hey, Charlie, before you can get a better. That's it. You that have it. So I realized that I have no opportunity to go back and get that single, but I have this opportunity to come here to the university and also prove to them that even though I did not get a single, but, but I can do what a do, single you know who just are doing. doing. Yeah, so and that you, was you, 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 like you told us that you graduated with fir uh, first class with a CGP of 3.9. Yes. That is crazy. Oh. Crazy, you know. You know, we joke. Oh, oh yeah, you know, we joke. But, you know, you a, lot of, led a lot of, you know, <laughs> activities, you know, effort and, you know, kept inside. Actually, there were a lot under the bridge, so. Ooh. Okay, so now I think we'll find another time to talk about a lot of things, right, uh, for people to learn. So what's your final words? Let's wrap up. So, um, oh, okay. So final words we didn't just go to the mathematics students, but to um, all the students from the University of Cape Coast and even outside those watching. I know you didn't just have followers in UCC here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, outside other universities. Uh, you should uh, develop your study plan. Mm. Uh, that you should know yourself. Develop a plan. We have individual difference. So if plan A is working for Mr. A, that doesn't mean you should still go by that. Some learn by audio. Some don't even want any sort of distraction. Mm. So you know yourself and then uh, you develop a plan towards that. But never forget, you know, your God. Your God. You know, we all have our You always goal. stress on your God. Your yes, God. You your know, God. You have to know your God. You pray that you open your eyes to see. Because I don't know. I have no experience from the other field. But in mathematics, they, you know, it's like, like compressing complex issues just in one line. Mm. So if you don't have this eye, third eye to see, it will be very difficult for you. That's what I'm saying. So it's it means that you, you're also having, you're having third eyes. Yeah, the third eye I'm talking <laughs> about here is that, you know, being able to decode whatever they are saying. Okay. They are saying, you know, like but that someone, are, okay. a lame person would, would think that, you know, you need to have some special something before you are able to, uh, you know, grasp all this kind of concept. So the, the special something you need is paying attention to details. Okay, okay. Yeah, Put because, it that way so that my people yeah. will be... <laughs> yeah, so you have to pay attention to it. That's the only the third I'm talking about. Okay. Because you don't just see that this mass we'll be doing here will be different from the SHS mass. Where everything is just straightforward. You see this, you are, you are giving this, you are giving that, blah, 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 boom. In fact, we have, we, we, we were deceived that mathematics is all about numbers. It's never so. Hmm. Because mathematics is about you thinking, being able to, you know, relate the numbers, how the numbers are changes mm. with the real life scenarios. So when you come here, you'll be doing a plot project, but that's why you appreciate that mathematics is not just about mm. numbers, but it's about thinking, relating what how the world is behaving to the mathematical principles. Yes. This this question came to mind. Um, someone may ask, do you have a social life? Do you do you very, very no, so no, you no, socialize? No. I socialize in the entire, you know, what do you call it? Uh, doing your undergraduate studies, you you did socialize. Sure, 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 sure. You know, this is university. Uh, I, th I mean, I term it as you know, you know university, some, university you, right? Pe people have that this kind of notion that you know, before you can have first class, you need to be very. I mean, you need to be concentrating on your academics. You don't have to play with anyone like us. We have said it's a waste of time. It's like, never so. It's never so. You know, someone may go to the Sam Juna Library. Hmm spend the whole day and the concert the person will get cannot even be compared to mr b going there with for 10 minutes <laughs> so it means so that you, see, you have to know yourself uh, yeah you have to know yourself it's not about you sitting there for the whole night and all that i understand some people to do that and they grasp concept to be more than what i'm talking about so mm. it works for some and not all so uh me like this if i sit for let's say five hours, I think I'll be wasting my time because I just need about an hour or an hour, uh, an hour and 30 minutes to, to, end, to get all the concepts. To get all the, not all the concepts because before I even go and sit down and say I'm going to learn, I, I will know the, you know, my coverage area. I don't uh, just go, I'm going to learn, boom, I'll open the book. And you have to. No, I know, okay, today as I'm going, I'm going to spend maximum of two hours and I must cover this to this. 
in nada. So if I'm able to cover that before the estimated time for myself, and I'll go to the questions. Well, I, 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 I plan. I don't just go to questions immediately I finish learning. So if I'm able to use the two hours, exactly two hours, I will not solve the question. I will go. The next time I'll solve my question. But let's say I was able to use one or 30 minutes to finish whatever I was supposed to do. Then I would also waste the 30 minutes left, and I would also use it for different topics. So okay. I will have to go to the questions related to that. Then so I'll be able to do so that's me. That's but amazing. others too will have to sit there for five hours, six hours before they get a concept. Mm. Yeah, especially in mathematics. You read one line, you you are, you are supposed to read a line for about ten times. A line. It's not a like this, this is not English where you read and you communicate. No, this is school there. So those in the computer science section, they will tell you programming. You know, right? Programming mm. is not just for anyone. You have to read. Uh, they are saying a lot in just simple yes, things. That's true. That's the same way mathematics is. So mathematics is just a language. Yes, we have C plus plus, Python, uh, you know, mm. Java and all and that. Mathematics is a language on its own that you need to understand. You need to understand. Yes, it's a well, language. The syntax and the so if you do understand everything. the syntax correct, you do understand the syntax, then my bro, um, you will be wasting your time. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Because you 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 will be attempted to you know chew the line, and it, you you may forget. You you will definitely forget. Because the questions are not going to be coming as you <laughs> saw in the textbook. They it will change. change it. They will change it in different form. And if you produce that sentence, it's going to give you an output which is different from what they are requiring from you. Ah, yeah. So that's how it is. That is crazy, Charlie. Sure. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for welcome, for coming, bro. and I You're think welcome, we'll find bro. another time to talk more. Your name, me, what I know is Constable. Constable with the CGP of 3.9 mathematics. <laughs> when I see you, salute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Emmanuel Azoko. Emmanuel yes, Azoko. Yeah, Emmanuel Azoko. All right. But many people don't know me by that name, especially the mass department. So mm, when you come there, you look for me, Constable. Constable. Yes, Constable. When you ca you can even use three point nine CGP of three point nine. All right, so right. thank you so much, and lovely viewers, thank you so much for making time with us. My name is always the Village Boy. Aside advocating for villages, you know, ensuring that things are working well in our villages, we do something like this to also inspire you, educate you, and then inform you. So if you cons if you like this thing, consider subscribing, be part of us twenty four seven. And let's make our world a better place. I will see you again. What do you have to say? Oh, um, they should just stick to, I mean, their plan and as I said earlier. Ah, just plan. Show. Plan, 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 plan. CGPF. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thanks.